Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's been a minute since I've seen y'all. I want to just say hi. Happy New Year. How are y'all doing? Thank you to all of you that support the channel, all of you that swing by to see my opinion and talk about tech with me. I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about the Mac Mini, the specifically the M1 Mac Mini from 2020 and why I'm still using it in 2023 and what I think is the best bang for your buck even today. So let's start from the beginning. This has two USB Thunder ports. That's USB-C if you didn't know. Uh, one HDMI, uh, two USB-A uh, ports, an Ethernet port, and the power cord, and we have a headphone jack. So just so you guys see what that looks like, we have all this here. So this computer comes in weighing in about 2.6 pounds, and it is about the size of my hand. <laughs> that is insane. For other size reference, here is a... Um, Apple iPhone Pro Max 14. Yeah, for, I said that horrible. It is an iPhone 14 Pro Max using a D-Brand skin. Shout out to D-Brand if you guys haven't seen them out. Seek them out. Look for their stuff. They have great skins and great cases. I recommend them. Um, back to what I was saying, though. Yes, this is the Apple Mac Mini M1 chip from 2020. And why do I use it? Because it's fast. It's got 8 gigabytes of uh, unified RAM, upgradable to 16 gigabytes if you need it. I've got a SSD in here, so it's lightning quick. It's uh, I believe it's 256 gigabyte. Uh, let me double check by uh, clicking in this little thing. Yes, yeah, 256 gigabytes. It's got the ability to literally you could have up to two displays, one using 6K resolution at 60 hertz if it's connected through the Thunderbolt, and one display up to 4K if you're using an HDMI. Now, it does have a built-in speaker, but it's very light. Kind of sounds like a whisper. It's kind of weird, but, you know, it does. I, I would prefer to just use a headphone jack that it comes with, you know, or if you have speakers and you want to use those, use those. Um, it has Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.0, so it is pretty quick on connecting. And what you get out of this is a powerhouse of a computer. When you buy this, you only get the console. Well, the, wow, console. You get the desktop and you get the power cord. That's it. You got to get your peripherals. You got to get your keyboard. You got to get your mouse. But let's face it. If you're buying a Mac Mini and you have already been integrated into the Apple ecosystem, you have your iPhone. You already have your idea of what you like. You already tell yourself, right? You look at yourself in the mirror every day and you go, I'm going to love this computer because you know what's the best bang for your buck. It came in at 2020 at a price tag of 699 US dollars. So what does that mean? It means that it was a $700 computer. And during the pandemic, you couldn't find computer parts. You couldn't find motherboards. You couldn't find any type of graphics card. You couldn't find anything. So this came in as a saving grace, a built one for all small computer, literally the size of like one inch, almost an inch and a half. For another reference, we're gonna use a blue slime from uh, Dragon Quest as a reference. It is that small. Guys, it is a amazing computer. If you're a casual consumer, a user of uh, computers, you just go on, you're a college student, you're a regular average Joe, you're working your nine to five, you're using a computer to type, read emails, browse the internet, occasionally watch YouTube, maybe you're watching my channel, awesome. Or maybe you're just watching anime on Crunchyroll like I am. It's a Phenomenal computer. Gets the job done. You just turn it on, does the job. And it takes up very little desk space. You know, it's small. Compared to a, a giant tower like the one I use, like, pff, trust me, you're getting away with a lot. So why would I recommend this? Uh, here's my takeaway. It's a great computer for its value at the time. If you still have one, don't upgrade. You don't need it. Unless you like the latest and greatest. Maybe you want the more USB ports that come with the M2 chip. Because the M2 chip base model has the same exact build guys there's no difference maybe it's slightly faster that's about it because it's the m2 chip but that's it now if you go with the if you go with like the m2 pro though then we're talking because then you have four thunderbolt four ports okay now you're you're maximizing you know and you you have the ability to spend that extra money great those Thunderbolt full ports, uh, not Thunderbolt four ports, will help you get a third monitor. You know, you could actually do more. You can be more creative if that's what your prerogative is. You know, I am a content creator first. I'm a personal trainer as well. So I would literally use this to uh, write programs, put on Excel spreadsheets, check my numbers. Like this was what I needed and I didn't need anything crazy. I would surf the internet and just do what I needed Get it done, turn off the computer, that was it. 
Now, if you're a gamer, do not go for a Mac. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I will tell you, no, don't do it. If you're a gamer, don't go for a Mac. Don't, just build a PC. You can get more bang for your buck doing that route. But if you're looking for simplicity, you don't care about anything other than being involved in the Apple ecosystem, go for it. It's a great computer. I love Mac computers. They're simple. They get the job done. I still use one. I have a, uh, God, you can ask my brother. I have the old MacBook Pro I've had for like, I want to say six years. And I take it everywhere I go. We'll be at work. I'll pull it out. Be like, here's the old faithful. And he's like, oh, it's still working. I'm like, yeah, yeah, that sucker has not gone away. But do I really need a gaming laptop? No. If I'm going to build a gaming computer, I'm going to build a gaming computer. I'm going to go with a desktop. But I digress. This, sorry, my allergies are acting up, guys. Um, what do I like about the Mac Mini, specifically the M1 chip from 2020, and why I recommend it in 2023? If you already have it, you're already ahead of the game. Uh, you have the, the less amount of clutter on your desk. It's small. It's fast. It took 4K videos that were 10 minutes in length that would take me an hour on my old Intel computers, like my old actual like Microsoft computers. It took me an hour to export. This did it in 10 minutes or less. Most of the time it was done in three minutes. This, this little thing has Wi-Fi 6. It's incredibly quick. It has everything I wanted and more. My takeaways, fast, powerful, very small build, less likely to take up clutter on your desk. And let's face it, you're in the Apple eco uh, ecosystem, you're good, you're solid. Just everything connects in there it just instantly, easy, you know? Airdrop all your stuff, boom, you're done. Video editing, boom, easy. You don't got to worry. Now, um, what, I re what I don't like about it, I don't like the fact that it has very little ports, guys. I actually get mad at that. That's, that's my only takeaway. I mean, come on. Two Thunderbolt, like ports and one HDMI, that's it. And like two USB-A's, a uh, little bit of a pain in the butt. Not gonna lie. I want more. I want to be able to connect more peripherals. Why? Maybe I want to stream again on, I'm using my Mac. I'm like, hey, let me put my Elgato there. Or, you know, maybe I'm sitting there and I want to add my webcam to it. And then I want to put a wired mouse. But, you know, if you're simply in love with it, go for it. So, yes, those are my pros. Those are my cons. The pros, it's small footprint. Very small footprint on the desk. It's fast. It's powerful. It gets everything I need done. It's simple. Simple and it works. Takeaway of what I don't like, very simple. The fact that it has very little ports. The RAM is not upgradable. That's a major, mm, but hey, it's the new Apple way of Apple Silicon, you know? Uh, but it is, again, something I don't like that I can't upgrade. I like to upgrade things. I have, if I open this up, I will have a hard time trying to do anything to it. And uh, last thing I don't like is that, you know, maybe it's the fact that you have to, no, that's it. I can't think of anything else. Guys, this is a great computer. If you already have one, from 2020, you don't need to upgrade. If you're a college student, you want to save a bang for your buck, use your student discount on apple.com. Get $100 off of the new one and get that one. It's it's actually cheaper than this one. But if you already have one at home, keep it. Don't upgrade. If you want the latest and greatest, then go for that. But for everything else, guys, keep it simple. You know, It's a great computer. I recommend it. Sorry, by the way, if you heard barking throughout the video, that's just we have a lot of dogs that are always barking. You know? And uh, it's kind of hard to keep the noise volume down most of the time. Uh, but I do appreciate your patience. And guys, if you're still sticking around, you're still still to the channel, you still like my videos, thank you. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for the shares. Thank you for being a part of a community that I could be open to and enjoy every minute. You know, guys, this computer is phenomenal. I recommend it to anybody as a daily desktop driver. If you guys want to see my review on other things, comment below what you want me to review. Let me know your thoughts and everything you think about it. And I will catch you on the next video. Okay? Y'all take care.